What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Yarrell, aka T Spill. Welcome to another T. All right, got some shit for your ass, okay? Before I get into it, yes, this it for y'all. See the come on, bitch. Okay, shout out to uh, Erica and Nate. Uh, shout him out right quick. Before I get into this actual, uh, you know, recap, review, rundown, whatever fuck we gonna call this bitch. First, let me say, let me go. I, I need to go ahead and get the church announcements out. You know, you. Know, you know, public service announcements and shit. One, um, first of all, if you guys are new, <clears throat> um, I'm a fucking goofball. I recommend you don't eat a drink shit uh, while you watch this video because Yarrell, aka T Spillin, is not um, responsible for any uh, laptops, any keyboards, any modems, any monitors, any TVs that may get damaged because you didn't spit some shit out, Lady Nika. So, with all of that being said, Number one, y'all might not want to eat a drink shit. Cause if y'all ass is choke or damage your own shit, I ain't paying for a damn thing. One, two, uh, I stand firm in what the fuck I said last week. Okay, uh, right quick, uh, this is my motherfucking channel. Okay, all right, like I said, I mean my tea spillers, you know the original ones. Y'all know what the fuck it is. We all can agree to motherfucking disagree in this bitch. But I'm gonna let y'all know right quick, I. I'm not coming off my throne to come down there in the motherfucker, you know, comment section and argue with any of y'all motherfuckers. I will not do that. And if you do not like my opinion, you are more than welcome to put your shit down there. Please be respectful because I will not come for you. But the fam will get your ass together right quick. And also, if you don't like the shit that I say, go ahead, get your camera out. Better, better, I mean, get, you know, get your get your phone now. You can step your pussy up and get you a motherfucking camera and shit. But if not, get your motherfucking phone out. Go ahead and do this. Say what you're going to say and put this shit on YouTube if you got an issue with anything that is coming out my motherfucking mouth. Because you can go ahead and dislike and all that shit ain't going to hurt my feelings. All right. Now, with that being said, I didn't watch this shit, okay? I'm waiting for, <clears throat> you know, me giving you the redux right now. Waiting for it to air. I got like, what, five minutes. But let me say this. The only time from what we saw that Cynthia ever used the word bitch is in reference to Shamia when she was like, show us how a bitch go down the slide, Rasputia on your ass, Norbit right there. She ain't call nobody a bitch, just say, show us how a bitch go down the slide. And I found that shit to be fucking humorous. Now, did Portia, you know, throw out the bitch word? Yeah, she did it in a general sense, but never once did she call... Oh, we got another motherfucking album the chip one shit going on. Oh, okay. Now, never once did she sit here and say, you know, Cynthia, bitch. We didn't see that. The only time she said bitch was who, bitch? And that got her motherfucking ass started. Hey, she was drunk. It is what the fuck it is. But what I will say is this. Like I said on my last video, regardless if I'm drinking, regardless if I'm in my feelings or not, if I don't fuck with you, do not sit here and call me nigga. Don't sit here and call me bitch. Don't sit here and call. Don't even call, sit here and call me any variation of my motherfucking name, other than what the fuck I to introduce myself to your ass, ass. Because it's one of those things where it's like you sit here, you try to be funny with a motherfucker. I will get your ass smooth the fuck together, okay? All right. Even even if we fucking in the same motherfucking circle, if I ain't get giving your ass a motherfucking clearance to call me anything other than what I've introduced myself to you as. Don't do it. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying. Now this kid. Can, can, we, can we talk about this kid? You know, it, it got me feeling some kind of motherfucker way and shit. Okay. This kid got like, see, here's the, y'all know I have an overactive imagination and shit, right? It's almost like she Bruce Lee kicked her ass. Okay. It's like she Jackie Chan kicked her ass. It's like she Chuck Norris kicked that ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's a shit. I like playing video games like she motherfucking Chun Li kicked that ass. Better yeah, fucking motherfucking Lou motherfucking Kang bicycle da, bicycle da, kicked her ass. I mean, <laughs> she kicked her ass so motherfucking good had me. In the same ah! keep the change roadhouse like the shit is so fucking crazy you, you feel what i'm saying because you got porsche like like really really 
And then she's like, <laughs> it's like, sit the fuck down. <laughs> like, calm the fuck. It, it's one of the ways it's like, so first, you know, I'm gonna catch that bitch. Then you wanna talk to her, why you wanna talk to her? So you can still own her, for real. I mean, you the dumbass that motherfucker that stood up over her like you about to do so. So then she kicked you in your puss and kicked you in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? I'm just at Roadhouse. Like, that's that's what the fuck happened. It's your motherfucking fault. Like, hey, get the fuck out of here. And then you... <laughs> the kid goes with Captain, you know. I need both of them off of my belt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This shit is fucking comical. I don't give a fuck about y'all. This shit was hilarious to me. I've been waiting the whole motherfucking week for getting my motherfucking entire life off this shit. Shit. <laughs> then Candy talking to motherfucking Sheree. Her line now. I don't even know why they're doing it. They don't even have it. This is crazy. They ain't got no B. You don't remember what the fuck happened on the reunion. But they ain't got no motherfucking beef. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. I have, I'm having too much damn fun with this shit. <laughs> Are y'all having fun? Y'all let me know down there. But well, then, motherfucking Tabby, this, this, this whole wheel, though, where the fuck she at? Hell, she done got lost in her motherfucking crypt and shit, so she come out the tomb and shit. And they asked her, you know, where she at? Candy asked her. Candy was messy the whole damn time. And, you know, she was like, You know, changing, it sounds like screaming and bomb. I need black Jesus right now. Girl, you need you need some estrogen right now. You don't, <laughs> I'm about to say, if you need black Jesus, he need to sit here and give you some old, you know, feminine. I don't know what the fuck. Shit, I can't. I ain't. So, but what I'm not understanding <clears throat> is... You know, she was like, she apologized. Bitch, when? Bitch, where? Bitch, how? Because you don't apologize. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, hey, you know, I was trying to be there for her. And you know, because I, I have so much stuff on Peter. I know so much stuff about the relationship. And if I wanted to, I didn't do it. <laughs> then she probably looked at Anne like, well, was that was that good? Was that? I'm not convinced. All right, so it's a little bit. So, uh, yeah, don't like, like everybody telling their circumstances, you know, their uh, perspective, you know, uh, of what the fuck went down. Don't care. Uh, except for Don Juan was being messy as hell. It sounded like he almost wanted to be on the motherfucking boat so he could have got the tea and been messy as hell. I know what the fuck he was talking about. So, Peter and Cynthia, they get to talking because, uh, you know, she called him while she was on the boat because he's the only person that she could really talk to. <clears throat> so, um,. She tells the event and, you know, he pretty much diagnoses her, pretty much tells her, it's like, I don't think that, you know, it's her that's the issue. I think you have an issue with something that's much deeper. It's not her that made you mad. And at the same exact time. Apologize on site. He ain't really say that. But he did say the next time you see it, apologize. So, you know, they decide they're going to work on things. And that's all nice and purtiful and pretty and everything. We're going to see what happens after that. Okay, let me go ahead and wrap this shit up. Because, uh, <clears throat> workout the game on. And, uh, you know, y'all know I've been on my little workout kick and shit. You know, hashtag TSBU365 and shit. Check it out if y'all ain't already on it. But, <clears throat> This episode is starting to get real boring real fast. Hopefully the beginning of this video then gave y'all all the light to sustain y'all up until now. So I'm just run through this shit. Uh, yeah, Faith and her kids, them kids want sick. I don't give a fuck with nobody say hell. She didn't lie about apprentices and everything else and shit. So they ain't sick. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What else? Um, <clears throat> mm hmm So, um, you got Horsha and Kenya um, meeting up. All I'm going to say is this. Mona will pay for some motherfucking background people, but Andy ain't finna do it because you can clearly see with the shit that was going on. It wasn't like mother looking like, mm, yeah, mm hmm. By the way, y'all know that Andy Cohen is Jewish, even though I don't see it for the motherfucker most of the time, but <clears throat> it is Hanukkah right now. So happy, you know, Hanukkah to everybody. I know a lot of y'all don't celebrate as I want to put it out there. It is Hanukkah, my favorite holiday out of all the holidays in general, you know, deep fried food for eight days yes yes but i'm not really doing the whole deep fry deep fry not the point so um <clears throat> kenya pretty much says out of all the bullshit they were saying that for what it's worth both girls were wrong 
And I agree, both girls were wrong to a certain degree. And her uh, horse just says that, you know, uh, she's uh, she know what uh, Cynthia is going through. So it's because of that that she's going to meet with uh, Cynthia. I'm just like... Mm-hmm. And if y'all wonder why I'm sweating, y'all know I'm sipping right now. I had to sip for this. That motherfucker roadhouse kick. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, bitch. So, <clears throat> at the uni Unity lunch, Sheree actually showed up looking less basic. I was happy. Here's the thing, y'all. Basic looks only work for certain motherfucking people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker right here, I like to dress basic. Because when I sit here and I clean up on your ass, it's going to take your breath away. And then, can we all give it up for Miss Cynthia Bailey? Thomas, can, can we clap it up for her because she came in there wearing herself on her motherfucking shirt. Here's the thing. <clears throat> it's only two females on this show that will sit here and plug they shit every fucking season. That is Candy, I don't motherfucking move my lips burris. And, uh, you know, Cynthia never go out of style, Bailey Thomas. Yeah, so you know I, I'm I'm here for that. What what, what else we got? So Twirl and Horsha <clears throat> walk in, faked her feeling some kind of way. Mm, guess she's still your friend, but you see she made a move on our uh, fucking damn Kim and shit. What else we got? So Horsha and, and Sin they go uh you know talk about this shit privately. Kenya is uh pretty much she talks about how Portia not really want to accept responsibility, and then you got Candy sitting here calling out um <clears throat> Kenya saying how you're quick to kind of point out the flaws in others but you don't want to sit here and own your own shit <clears throat> I'm gonna say this Candy boo you know you the reason I started watching these households it's the same shit applies for you cause you quit to sit here and shade and say all type of shit about other people but again you would sit here and take that rock throw it and smooth pretend like your ass didn't throw it let's not do that let's not do that I'm not team twirl <clears throat> okay alright but at the same exact time like don't don't do that. Don't do that. So Horsha wants to move forward and Cynthia apologizes. Catch that. And uh Sin feels, you know, that this incident has helped her and Peter grow closer together. <clears throat> Y'all, that's all the fuck I got. Y'all know the beginning of this show gave me the most motherfucking life. Hopefully, the beginning of this review gave you the most motherfucking life. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share when y'all get the fuck down there in the motherfucking comment section. I ask that you guys be respectful. We can agree to disagree. <clears throat> but like I said, I will not come off my throne to sit here and, you know, act like a fucking peasant. I will not do that. Now, does that mean that the rest of the fam not gonna come for you? I don't fucking know. So, let's be respectful. I love you guys. Be safe. Be easy. Happy Hanukkah. Have a great Monday. I will come back on that ass to give y'all my review for uh, Workout New York. Because I have this shit paused. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. Get this shit up. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And it is Don't Stop December on that ass. Peace.